Hey, good evening, folks. Hi, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I had to take the day off. I had some personal things I had to take care of. But uh, I'm back in the game. Should be good to go for tomorrow. Uh, this is tonight's video watch list of some stocks that I caught after the close. And uh, let's go ahead and, and go through them. The market looks strong. Um, and there's still a lot of good-looking charts and setups out there. So you're just going to have to be selective. We're right in the midst of earnings, the bulk of earnings. So, uh, you know, we're going to have some stocks in play for sure tomorrow. You just got to find them early. So let me go ahead and get started. UPI. So UPI, I was watching today. You know, nice big volume bar. Uh, crossed over the moving averages, 20 in the 50. And then if you scroll out, you know, we've got a really long-term trend line there. So, you know, I guess maybe what I'm looking for tomorrow is a red to green move or a continuation, but I would probably scale out some at this 260 area and maybe hold some and see if we can go up and test the, the 200 day. This is, like I said, the long-term trend line resistance right here. So I think it's going to have a difficult time getting through that 260, but uh, you never know. Uh, definitely want to keep an eye on it tomorrow. Uh, SGOC, uh, actually, I'm already in this one. I have I bought it in this 175 area because uh, it's been holding this this line in the sand really nice. Uh, so I'm swinging it, and I've got my my stop, my mental stop anyway. At about 160 is what I'm looking at. So uh, pop today. I want to see if we can get. You know, the volume wasn't all that convincing, so I want to see if we can get another uh, good pop tomorrow and break over that price resistance right there uh, at 220 or so. So I uh, just want to see if we get a continuation tomorrow. Onvo, you know, super hot name, sold off uh, after that big pop. You know, I'm not convinced that this one is is ready to break this trend line. It might continue to just follow it and uh, let the moving averages catch up to it, but I do want to keep an eye on it. If it gets any kind of real volume, breaks that trend line, I'll probably jump in it. Uh, MTL, over the 50-day, it's not overbought. Nice volume bar. Steel names, uh, AK Steel is another one that uh, I'm keeping an eye on. Uh, X had a, a pretty decent day today, so see if uh, we get any kind of continuation. I mean, there's a very long, you know, steel names have been decimated, so this be interesting to see if we can get some continuation on that. Neon, you know, same thing. Uh, pretty nice volume bar today. The stochastics look like they're turning up. Uh, I want to see if we break over this trend line and have a continuation tomorrow. ETRM, you know, closed over these moving averages today. Uh, a little bit of a volume pickup. Stochastics turned up a little bit. You know, I'm not sure when earnings, are, these guys are going to report earnings or not. But uh, I just, this would be a day trade for me. It wouldn't be a, a, a swing. OMP. So, you know, got the stochastics look like they're turning up a little bit. Um, you know, it's near oversold, closed over the 50 in the, and the, uh, 20 day. I want to see if we can break that trend line right there. Uh, may not have a lot to go up. I mean, we might just go up and test that, that 200 day, but it's, it's on my watch list. SGYP, you know, these guys did an offering a little while back at 550 a share, I believe. Um, Ironwood, IRWD, reported today. They had a pretty good day. Um, they're in the, they have the same type of drug. So I want to see if, you know, if Ironwood has another good day tomorrow. Uh, see if maybe SGYP follows. You know, the bummer is you've got this 50-day right overhead. So that's only a 20-cent move. You just want to see. If there's any kind of power behind the move when it when it breaks this trend line, 
CLNT. CLNT kind of looked like it was getting, or at least trying today. You know, it's it closed over the 50-day. This thing, you know, likes to put out a press release every every month, it seems like. Each time it does, it has a nice pop. This is not one that I would hold. If we break over this trend line on some kind of PR, you know, this is a good pop and flopper. So uh, I would take it for the day. Don't chase it. And uh, that's about it. CHCI, you know, it's, it's, it keeps testing this, this trend line right here. Uh, it's not overbought. It's a, it's a thin name, so you got to be got to be careful. But if it breaks this this upper trend line with some volume, it'd be good for a day trade. Jivo tried to pop today, went right up into that 20 day, and then came back down. The stochastics have turned up, had some volume today, so maybe tomorrow is the day that uh, we get some follow through. It actually really does break out over that trend line, so keep it on watch. Digit, <clears throat> you know, the 20 day is catching up to the price. The stochastics are still pointing it down. I don't like that very much, but, uh, you know, it, I, I think it can go up and test that 850, 860 area. Looking for a break over that trend line. ANAD, flat top breakout. It keeps tapping this area. Uh, stochastics are starting to turn up. The volume picked up a little bit today. See if we can get a, a breakout over that, over this, uh, let's see, what is that? 234 with some with some conviction OCZ again holding this lower trend line uh, you know coiling right underneath this 200 day it's not overbought yeah uh, I think if it breaks over this trend line and cracks that that 200 day this sucker is gonna fly uh, DRRX volume has been horrendous on this thing after this pop here you know but it's 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 riding this 200 day and the 20 day. Any kind of volume and break over that trend line, I'm jumping in it for a day trade. APRI, beautiful. I mean, after this pop here, this thing, I mean, the candles can't get any tighter here. So the thing I don't like is the stochastics are pointed down, but you know, it looks like the 20 day is trying to trying to curl up, break over that trend line with some volume, and it's in play, I think. Uh, HXM, you know, stochastics look like they're trying. It's riding this 20-day. Uh, I, I just, I like the look of it. It's tightening up here. It's going to go one way or the other, and I want to keep an eye on it. SEM, after this big pop out of the upper Bollinger Band, it's, it's. Uh, I played this, actually. I sold it right at night. It's nice to see it sitting right at night. But, uh, it, you know, it's kind of flagging here. Now, again, this might be waiting for earnings or something. Um, you've got the 200-day right over right overhead. So, you know, the 20 days quite a ways away from the price. I just want to keep on, keep it on watch because I do like how it's, it's flagging up here. NVAX. So, you know, it looks like it's getting there oversold. Uh, it's coming down to this 20 day, you know, so it's going to test this 20 day. Um, it's a nice looking flag on the daily and you got this kind of a cup and handle thing going on here. Uh, let's see. Wrong one. And it's, uh, you know, 52 week high. So I like the look of it a lot. TTHI, after this big pop, low volume pullback, but this thing announced some PR after the close. It's on fire after the close. It'll probably be on fire tomorrow morning. <clears throat> look for a uh, look for a setup for entry on the intraday. And that's all I've got for tonight, folks. I hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Good luck trading tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow.